in high definition. Ten minutes of non-stop news. And your weather authority, hour by hour forecast. The people you know, the news you trust. This is Channel 6 News, 10 and 10. Later an issue a lot of families face, their baby born prematurely. When she did finally come home, it was <laughs> really scary, actually. How we can all help babies born early. When a baby is born earlier than expected, parents are often unprepared. A new tonight, three success stories. Brian Mastry shares what we can all do for those who will soon be born early. Javier Portillo turns two next month. Happy. He's happy and full of energy. Born 10 weeks early, Javier spent a lot of time at the Methodist Women's Hospital Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or NICU, and so did his mother. I actually thought I had three more months to get prepared. Is there a baby? Being the oldest kid here, he needs to investigate the nearby youngsters. His first move, a bold one. He grabs the rattle from a one-year-old, and that's not enough. He takes her twin sisters as well. Even the adults weren't strong enough to intervene. You're brave, taking something away from two girls. Tell They're going to get you. You You're better watch brave. out. It turns out the girls didn't mind. The dancing and shaking mesmerized them. They don't know it, but all three have plenty in common. Progress. Ella and Lena are also NICU graduates, born 11 weeks early, just over two pounds. It was also a lot of touch and go, meaning, okay, they're coming home, and then something would happen. Our cameras were there a year ago. As the two worked to get healthier, their mother helped organize a fundraiser to get two crib blankets for every crib here. Their crib covers are still in the NICU. I waited for this day, just that they would be happy and, and smiling and laughing because she was so sick for so long. Lena spent nine months in the hospital before finally coming home. And now that she's back as a visitor, they have a new friend. You just can't imagine nine months in the hospital for the parents. I mean, that's very difficult. But uh, if you did want an idea of what you could get, get some of those rattles. Or, uh, as long as they're quiet, they work pretty <laughs> that well. That is absolutely <laughs> adorable. I know my son was born a month early, and just, you know, the, the fear of having to go in the NICU, let alone what these families have gone through, nine months. So it's yeah. great to see great success stories. You can identify. And you can help these families very easily. You can drop off donations at the Methodist Women's Hospital. We have all the information at WOWT under Find It. Onesies, blankets, those cute little books, little booties, all those things that we love to buy for babies. Great ideas. We need to issue a cute baby alert when we're going to run something <laughs> like that, too, just, just to That's warn everybody. Idea. Well, up next in sports, meet the Big Ten coach.